That's right, the new X Optima Air really can improve the tone of your acoustic guitar pickup. Let's check it out. I'm Bill Vensel, this is Chords of Orion, and in addition to ambient guitar, I'm also a big fan of acoustic guitar, and it drives me up the wall when I hear, generally speaking, acoustic guitar pickups. Magnetic pickups, like the one on this guitar, have that electric guitar sound, which just doesn't sound right to me on acoustic guitar. Piezo guitar pickups have a rubber bandy quacky tone that I don't like either. So what to do? What to do? New X contacted me and said, hey, Bill, you ought to check out our Optima Air acoustic guitar preamp and impulse response loader and see what it can do for your guitar pickup sound. So I said, heck, yes, I'll try it out. It's a really interesting unit. It's comprised of two major sections. The first is the amp section, and that is an acoustic guitar preamp with bass, mid, and treble controls that work really, really well. In addition to that, it has a built-in reverb that's kind of like a spring reverb. The second section is all about the impulse response. And there are 15 impulse responses that are actually loaded into the pedal and they model guitars like Martins, Taylors, and Gibsons. And they're also targeted at different guitar and pickup combinations. For example, acoustic guitars with magnetic pickups, acoustic guitars with piezo pickups, and electric guitars with magnetic pickups. But wait, we're not done yet because this unit also has presets so you can switch between different guitar IRs. It also has software that you can install on your computer, hook up the unit, and then you can load and manage different impulse responses. So that's cool. And then finally, it also has the ability to record impulse responses. So if you've got a favorite guitar hanging out and you wanna try and model the tone of that guitar, you can record it using a microphone and capture that tone um, in the Optima Air and then use it to apply on your other guitars. Really cool. So that's enough of yapping about the features. Let's get down to some sounds. Here's my unaffected acoustic guitar tone through the magnetic sound hole pickup. as you can hear, it does have a slightly electric sound. And again, that's coming from the magnetic sound hole pickup. Let's go ahead and turn on the preamp, and that is the amp switch there on the right-hand side. And uh, you can hear kind of the bass sound there. Let's check out the tone controls bass. Speaking of bass, is all the way down now. Let's bring the mids all the way up. All the way down. Mmm. Treble all the way up. As you can hear, the tone controls are very responsive. I've been finding myself kind of leaving them right straight up in the middle and then just barely tweaking them to get the tone I want because there is such a range of variation in the tonal control. Before we get into the impulse responses, let's go ahead and listen to the reverb. all the way up now. Mm -hmm. 
You know, and I have to say, it's an okay sounding reverb, but I don't see myself using it too often. I would probably put a dedicated reverb pedal in the effect chain. But you know, if it works, if you like the tone of it, then yeah, it works great. All right, let's go ahead and get into the impulse responses. There is that other switch there, and that engages the whole impulse response section. I mentioned there are 15 set up. Right now, I've got a Martin D45 impulse response dialed up on the unit to apply to this guitar, yeah. And the way we're gonna do that is use the IR level knob, and that acts as a blend. So I'm gonna start out where we are at zero, in other words, just the pickup, and then I'm gonna bring it up in 25% increments. So here we go. So as you can hear, the tonality changes radically as you bring up the level of the impulse response. Let's go ahead and try another IR. This one is a Gibson Hummingbird IR. I'll do the same thing. So as you can hear, that one is a little more woofy sounding on this guitar versus the Martin D45 IR. So let me back off uh, the bass and the mids just a bit. See if that helps us out. And let's go ahead and bring up the treble. Uh, probably a little too much, but let's see what that does. Again, as you can hear, there's a lot of tonal options with this unit as you look to tweak the IR and blend it in with the magnetic pickup sound. I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to the D45 IR, and I'm gonna blend in a little bit of reverb from my recording software, and let's check that out. So there you have it, the new X Optima Air. I do think there are a lot of possibilities with this pedal when it comes to overlaying acoustic guitar IRs onto the sound of your acoustic or electric guitar. 
It's kind of cool. Also, with that software I mentioned earlier, the ability to load in IRs into the pedal is really intriguing to me. I'm wondering if I could load in speaker cabinet IRs and use this thing as basically kind of a speaker cabinet with really, really responsive tone controls. I'm gonna be trying that one out. Tell me what you think about this pedal. Drop a comment below. All right, as you can see, I've got a playlist here of other acoustic guitar related videos. I hope you'll check them out. And as always, I'll see all of you on the next video.